Hey everyone, I wanted to come in and share in the forum um, how I make my coconut yogurt. Um, I was having a lot of trouble finding one that I didn't react to and then when I started reading the labels I realised I was reacting to the tapioca and the thickness and the fillers. So I use um, kazoo. I'll put a link up in the comments for you. So if you'd like to buy, I buy it online. I think it's from Amazon actually, because um, yeah, I can't buy it locally. But if you're in Perth, a uh, health food shop will have it. The one I buy is in a black bag with hot pink writing. Um, yeah. So, so what I do is I put two tins of coconut cream. I prefer the cream because it's a lot richer. It's a bit thicker and our brains are starved are really good fat. So that's a really good thing to use. You can do this with coconut milk and you can also do it with almond milk um, and make an almond yogurt. And I used to just use the cream or the milk and put the capsules in, sit it on the bench for 48 hours. But I don't know, it didn't have a texture that I particularly loved. Um, by using the coconut cream or the, the almond milk and putting the kazoo in, it has a beautiful thick um, texture that makes it really yummy. Um, that was the biggest thing um, that I found by doing it. It just, yeah, and it had no yucky aftertaste either. So I can't use corn flour, I can't use tapioca or arrowroot, but you guys can possibly can. I mean, if you don't react to it, you don't need to, to buy kazoo. It can be quite expensive. I think it's about $10 for 100 grams. So it's definitely not cheap. But if you don't have issues, you can probably just use the coconut, not the coconut, the corn flour that's in your cupboard or the tapioca or the arrowroot. And yeah, you'll get away with it and you'll get the same beautiful texture and consistency in it. So this was one that this is the almond yogurt. I'll just get a spoon. You'd think I'd be better organized than that. So you can see it's really nice and thick. Um, and that will thicken more too. So that's only cooled on the bench and I've only just put the capsules in this one. So um, it will sit on the bench now for 24 to 48 hours, depending on the temperature. I think it's gonna be quite warm over the next few days. Um, so that will um, probably not sit as long, but you can see that it's beautiful and thick and that will thicken. So once your capsules have been in for the 24 to 48 hours, and then you pop it in the fridge um, to set and it will thicken. Um, I learned the hard way. I made a really big batch because I like doing things in batches to make it easier. Um, and what I found was it got too thick. So now I just do two 400 gram tins of AM cream. Um, I love this one. has no additives, no nothing. It's just coconut cream. Um, but by doing that 800 mils, so the two tins, doesn't allow it to get too thick and ferment too much because it will continue to slowly ferment in the fridge as well. Um, and I probably have it three or four times a week. Um, I do it two different ways. I do it so I can eat it with fruit and nuts and seeds. And for that one, I add in the maple syrup. Again, read your labels, make sure you're not buying maple flavored gunk. Um, this is a beautiful one that I get from our local supermarket. I put um, vanilla in it. So I make this, it just has four vanilla pods and I filled it up with vodka and it sat in the cupboard for probably six months. I only found it the other day, bit of a bonus. Kazoo, which I have in a jar, but like I said, it comes in a pink, a black bag with pink writing and the Life 9 capsules. If I'm making I try and have a batch of coconut cream or yogurt in the fridge as well that I can use with curries because I love curries. 
And for that, I just have the coconut cream and the probiotic capsules and the kazoo. I don't add anything else in because I don't want it to be sweet. Um, so what you choose to do is totally up to you. Um, by using the maple syrup, I find that's a really gentle taste. I find honey too strong a lot of the time, but you could use honey, you could use stevia, you can really use anything that you want. Um, and this is just a basic recipe that I use. And then you can add on that, you can put bananas in there, you can do whatever to flavour it. Um, it's really, really easy. So I cooked this earlier on today because you need to cook it in your Thermomix or on your stove if you don't have a Thermomix. You don't, um, you don't have to have a Thermomix. If you've got one, it just makes it easy and you might as well use it. So this, again, is really nice and thick. Um, and that's two tins. So that's at the point now where it's cooled down below 37 degrees and I need to put the capsules in. So I put four Life9 capsules in and that's, you know, they're really tiny. I just pull them apart. Don't panic if you drop the capsule in and you can't get it out. It's just gelatin, so it will, yeah, it will dissolve. No big deal. Because I might have done that too. So put the four in. And I've already done this to the yogurt with the almond milk um, that I did earlier. So that's four capsules emptied, lid back on and just really mix it up well. On reverse, I don't know if that actually makes any difference or not. And then once you've stirred it through well enough, I then pour it into a glass jar. You can do jars, a single jar, a big jar, what, whatever you have and whatever's easiest for you. By doing this, um, it just makes it easy. And just get it all out. I could have done a better job of that. And now it just sits on the bench um, for 24 to 48 hours, just like that. Um, if you are, well, I get ants on the farm. I don't know if anyone else is plagued by ants at the moment, but they're painful. So I sit that in a bowl of water and I just pop that in top. So the ants can't actually get to the, the yogurt. So that keeps that nice and fresh. Um, I also really like kazoo because it's a really good digestive aid. So with the Life 9, like it makes a really good combo. Um, you can use it to thicken soups. You can do lots of things with it, just like you would any thickener in the kitchen. Um, and yeah, like it's, I don't get that inflammation reaction. So that's why I choose to use it. Um, I'm going to put the recipe up in the comments um, and I'm also going to put the, the link up for the kazoo. So if you have any questions, just put them in the comments below once Kylie posts this because I always have technical issues. Um, but yeah, like you've really got to give it a go. And another really, really, really important thing is if you don't like the taste of the coconut cream or the coconut milk, don't use it because that's basically what it's going to taste like. Um, and, and read your labels. And it's the same as the almond milk too. Like I've brought some almond milk that tastes really horrible. By converting that and making it into yogurt, it's still gonna taste really horrible. So make sure you're using a product that you like the taste of. Um, if you're using homemade coconut milk, 
that you've made yourself or you've made your own almond milk, which you can, um, you'll need to use more kazoo. So you'll need to put an extra 20 grams in per 800 ml. Um, that would be about the only thing I think that I needed to really remember to tell you. I'd like to buy a, a thing like Kylie and Glenn have to, to make almond milk. I just haven't got around to it. Um, but yeah, honestly, if you have any questions, please reach out, put them in the comments. I'll pop the recipe up for you. But this is honestly a no fail. Um, you can test your coconut cream after 12 hours, especially in warm weather like we're having at the moment. If it's starting to smell sour or taste sour, it has done its job and you can pop it into the fridge and let it set. Um, and the other thing, like I said before, don't go and make a couple of litres up thinking, oh, it'll last me all month because it does continue to ferment and get thicker and thicker. So I find for me, what really works is the 800 mils, like two tins of the coconut cream, or you could just start with one tin, see how you like it, see how it goes. So just half the recipe. Thanks.